This channel and all its videos are non-profit and for the sole objectives of educational and teaching purposes only. We hope everyone enjoy and learn from them. Hello everybody, Teacher Lim here. Thank you so much for joining me once more at my channel and video. So for today, I want to go through a science question, question 39 from the PSLE or I would say the primary school leaving examination paper dated 2022 so this question actually requires you to answer uh, in words one question one part and the other part is a circuit drawing part so concepts of course tested here are in this question are electrical circuits parallel or series arrangement of bulb switches and batteries and the accurate and correct drawing of the electrical diagrams and drawings. All right, everyone, before I continue with the rest of the video, I really wanted to share with everyone my teaching experience and credibility, really not to show off or brag here. Just want to show everyone um, what I have done for many years. So I've been a primary school science teacher since 2010, teaching primary three all the way to primary six science for more than 14 years as of this video. So I've taught at least five years on primary five science and then I've seen five badges or classes graduate from the primary five level before. I've also taught at least three years or three different badges of primary six science graduating classes. Now, I also want to mention for primary science, OE or open-ended questions, booklet B, marks are actually awarded for the correct concepts nowadays and not for keywords or phrases found in the answer. So, your next question will be, what is a concept? Concept is an idea, a theory or a notion. So I also want to mention that even for PSLE or the primary school leaving examination, the answers and the marking every year, it might differ slightly as the context or the situation of the question might change. So the demands of the questions might change as well. So there may be slight differences or changes in the marks allocation within the question and its parts. Even though the questions from different years might be very similar or almost the same, and then there are, of course, are the other external reasons, uh, external influences as well, for example, the emergence of new and ever-changing science knowledge. So for each year, the PSLE answers or even the marking might slightly differ. Now, so this is how question 39 looks like. There's part A and part B. Now, for part A, sorry, let me read the question first. Sammy made a toy with two light bulbs. These bulbs or oh, this circuit is controlled by a switch. After one bulb blew, the other bulb did not light up when the switch was closed state how the two bulbs were connected in the circuit so this is worth one mark now the answer is of course they are in series arrangement now we do not accept uh, not parallel so what do you mean by not parallel we need to be specific to mention that it is in a series we also do not accept side by side or next to each other so we need to mention specifically that it is in series arrangement so if you ask me, these are just descriptions of what is series. So they really need you to identify and mention or as mentioned state. The word here states how the two bulbs were connected in the circuit. Now for part B, Sammy changed to another circuit in a toy with two new bulbs, L and R, and the switch so that the bulbs work as described below. So if one bulb blows, the other will still be lit. Both bulbs will light up only when the switch is closed. The diagram shows part of semi circuit, complete the circuit so that it will work as described. So we need to complete this circuit. Now, how are the marks allocated here? 
the wires need to be connected properly to both bulbs, one at the casing, one at the metal tip. So the circuit has to be parallel. So this will be awarded one mark because if you mention, I mean the question mentioned, if one bulb blows, the other will still be lit. So the circuit must be in the parallel arrangement. So one mark for parallel. So the third one mark, the switch must be controlling both bulbs. So one mark here, one mark here, and one mark here for the circuit diagram drawing of the circuit drawing. Now, if the second one mark is not given over here, the third one mark is also not given where dependent marking is practiced here. So to get this one mark where the switch is controlling both bulbs, you need to draw the circuit in parallel first so a uh, quick feedback or comments from teachers many students drew short circuits hence losing the second and third marks students need to know examples of short circuits or how not to draw short circuits so I have come up with quite a few answers that are correct and some examples that are wrong as well so I hope you can take a look at all these possible answers and wrong answers. So the first correct answer, you can see that both bulbs are connected in parallel, connected to the metal tip, the metal casing, metal tip, metal casing correctly. And then actually the switch has to be some anywhere here to here. You can follow the line. Sorry, not follow the line, follow my laser pointer here. So this switch will definitely control the both the entire circuit or both bulbs together so this is a possible correct answer another possible correct answer also parallel but the switch is now on this side so this answer is also definitely acceptable because of the parallel arrangement and the bulbs are connected properly tip and casing tip casing and the switch controls the whole circuit or both bulbs. So this is another possible answer. Bulbs are connected properly. This the, the, the entire circuit is in a parallel arrangement and the switch is anywhere on this line. So I have a fourth and final possible answer here. So now the switch is here. Of course, previously I showed you that it can be here, anywhere along here, here or here. Now, the first wrong or incorrect answer, this is definitely not a parallel arrangement. This is in fact a series arrangement. So it says here, if one bulb blows, the other will still be lit. So if one bulb blows here, the other won't be lit anymore. And this is similar, this is a series arrangement, even though the bulbs are connected correctly with the tip and the casing, tip and casing, but this is also a series arrangement. So this is also an incorrect answer. Over here, now, let me explain, even though it is in a parallel arrangement, you can see, right, bulb L, will, sorry, bulb R, bulb R will always be lit because there is no switch here. In fact, the switch is only controlling bulb L. So it goes back to this criteria on this part. Both bulbs will light up only when the switch is closed. So even when I don't close the switch, bulb R in this arrangement will be lit or lit up. So as mentioned, the switch cannot be here. It has to be along this line this line here now the fourth and final incorrect answer so it's the same just now the switch was over here so the switch is now this side so same thing this switch is only controlling bulb L bulb R will be permanently lit with the battery connected like that so the switch is only controlling L and not controlling bulb R so this is definitely wrong as well. I cannot have the switch here. I can only have the switch here as mentioned many times. 
All right, that's all for question 39, the circuit question for PSLE year 2022. Hope you understood this question. Thank you so much for watching. Teacher Lim here signing off. Take care and goodbye.